It's first thing in the morning, but I'm just so excited that Mummy and Percy are here. I thought I would go and take crumpets for breakfast. Admittedly, they look a bit weird, like they've been shrink wrapped. They're frozen. I think they'll be fine once they've been in a toaster. Well, this is a turn of events. They were both in bed. I left them the frozen crumpets and took two out for my breakfast, but I think that might be an actual first. I refrained from filming them for you all, even though it was one of the most adorable sights I've ever seen. I told them to go back to sleep and there'd be crumpets when they woke up. Oh, and most importantly, I turned the Christmas tree lights on for them so that when they wake up properly, the tree will be on. Amory, you are not supposed to be out here. You have been sick in bed for the last two days. Yeah. And we're all trying to stop you from digging again. And will you listen to anyone? Nope. <laughs> I can tell you how bad I was. I hadn't smoked and I hadn't drink, drank it for 24 hours, uh, 48 hours. You were really sick. That, that shows how sick I was. But I love the way you're like, I don't understand why I'm getting sick. Everyone in the world is screaming at their TV screens right now going, you were literally working in minus six in a t-shirt. Everybody knows why you got sick. <laughs> maybe, yeah, maybe. But. It's got to get done, so I just want to crack on. It doesn't, it can wait. A... To be fair, Steph, I was talking to Papa about this. Time's running out for us because on the second week of January, Nathan and Adam are starting. So not only does this have to get done, but I've got to re Clear the, the stables. Workshop. No, we're also re to the workshop because I'm losing a big chunk of it. But look, if we haven't got Christmas lights in the courtyard, we haven't got Christmas lights in the courtyard, we'll have them next year. It, this is not the end of the world. The time, the time is still in our favour, but I just want to crack on. I want to see the lights up. And we all do, but I'd rather have your health in our favour. And I've got Papa now to help me. Oh, <laughs> bad luck. <laughs> <laughs> so you're the backup plan. I've done about a foot and a half. You're looking, you're looking <laughs> a bit clean as well. Well, this, no, this, this is only when I'm not That's moving. Nice shape, though, Thank you. Have you noticed Mum and Papa are matching? Every day. Have you noticed? I, I don't know. <laughs> We always oh, do. We oh, got, oh. It's funny, isn't yeah, that's, it? That's why I said, it's yeah. funny we we not really wanting to, but yeah. we pick up the same clothes, <laughs> the same colour coordinating <laughs> clothes. Uh, darling, we shared the same bedrooms. More than 40 bedrooms, years of not. life together, together that's yeah. why. It, well, it does we harmonise with everything, yeah. don't we? I'll see if you can stop him. Nick, the tree surgeon's here. Yeah. I'm literally, I'm going to go and see Nick yeah. right now. Stopping a tree down. Is he? Stephanie, Stephanie, you put some serum, darling. It's I'm fine, it's a padded, it's a quilted dressing gown. Down. Like down. cousin, like cousin. He's down now, but uh, okay. Whereabouts is he? There, just by uh, by the gates. Right off I go. Hello. Hey. I'm very happy to see you. Hey, yeah. I didn't realise you'd be here in the run up to Christmas. Yeah. This is great. Yeah, last few days before. Fantastic. So, what are you working on? The acacia that's leaning over the uh, wall garden. Yep, that is leaning. Oh, you've already been up yeah. there. Yeah, that's why my rope's up, and I've cleared all this. Oh yeah, your rope goes right up to the top. Okay. So these are already down. But the problem is... Oh, there's a hole. It's just full of rubbish. So that's rotten in there. So it's rotting from the base. Oh the dear. It's pretty solid, but when it's lean, it's going straight over that corner. Yeah, we don't want it taking any of the wall or worse still, chickens. the chickens. Uh, directly behind there, it would reach the runs. I used to have a little children's story when I was little about the sky was falling in. Chicken Chicken licking, that's it. I know the one. Chicken licking, the sky's falling. Yeah. Well, there you go, that's what they would be like. I'm glad they're thinking that today. <laughs> You've got a new toy. Yeah. A GoPro. So we can get bird's eye, literally Live bird's eye. Live vision of the world. <laughs> yes. Finally, we're going to have Nick Ham. This is the footage the world's been waiting for. There he goes. I can't help but worry every time I see him going up a tree. I know he's incredibly careful, but still. It's just unbelievable watching someone do that. And that branch at the top that his rope's attached to looks quite small to me. And for the first time ever, we're going to be seeing Nick's view of this, which I'm pretty excited about. He must be able to see straight over into the walled garden from up there. Here we go for project Save the Chickens! Oh! One little bit remaining. There it goes. Chicken's nearly safe. Just that one left to go. I'll leave Nick getting on with the top two branches. And now I'm going to go back 
via the chickens that he is protecting so gallantly. It's looking so neat and lovely in here. You can see here where the tree is in relation to the chickens. That's not branches from that tree. That's all of these trees that have had a hard prune. Goodness knows they needed it. Let's go and see them. Well, that solved the mystery of this sage that I was looking for the other night. I had completely forgotten that Kirsty and Pavlina had planted all of the sage along here. I have the memory of a goldfish. I sometimes think that's why I'm so happy. Goldfish must swim around, see the little castle again and go, oh, a lovely castle. I've never seen that before. How wonderful. Carry on round the bowl. Oh, what a lovely castle. Every day is a little bit like that for me. I do not believe this. I, I'm sorry, I did not know. Somebody has decorated the chicken run. Well, Jared's not here, so this has Pavlina written all over it. That is a Christmas tree outside the chicken coop. And not just that one. This one also has a Christmas tree. And there are the lovely little Christmas bells with foliage and berries. This is amazing. I'm going in. Frankly, dressed like this, they probably think I'm Mrs. Claus. Never before have you been this spoilt at Christmas. Do you enjoy it? Well, I think so. They are congregating quite close to the Christmas tree. I think Christmas spirit is high in the chicken run. Do you think they're looking more festive than usual? That's a certain, certain festive air. Things are carrying on to get pretty exciting behind me as well. Well, that's the true Christmas spirit, isn't it? Decorated coop for Christmas and Nick up a tree to save the chickens. You lot are the centre of attention today. It truly is Christmas for all of the Lalantas. Well, whilst I'm out here, I may as well see if they've left us any little gifts at Christmas. Oh dear. That's the level of generosity we get after all these decorations. Come on, ladies, where's the festive spirit? Oh, actually, ladies, look, things are getting exciting up there. It's all happening now. It's right up at the top. Oh, wow. He's getting there. I think this is it. Last bit coming down. Wow, what a legend. And the crowd goes wild. I'll check this house. Maybe they've left us something here. Oh, darlings, I spoke too soon, didn't I? You're in the process of leaving us little gifts. Well, I will not disturb you. They are darlings after all. Come all ye faithful, joyful and triumphant. Come ye, come ye to Bethlehem. Come there it is in with the chickens it is getting a bit chilly i thought i'd be okay in just my dressing gown i didn't realize i'd be going on such an awfully big adventure i don't know what you're talking about mummy it's quilted you two look magnificent good it's getting a bit windy i'm going in actually yes okay we're being forced back in percy do you want a cup of tea? I think I, should, I owe you one. <laughs> you have to go and see the chicken coop later. There's a Christmas tree outside each of their houses, decorated, and two of the chickens were thanking us by sitting laying eggs. Oh, the poor things. I know, even in this weather. You should go and see it later. It's darling. Yes, I certainly will, but oh, what a shame. 
laying eggs. We should have heated eat, little houses for them. Well, it's 10 degrees outside, Mummy. It's not that cold at the moment, luckily. Last week was worse. I think that when it gets very cold, we'll probably put bubble wrap on the outside. I think so. Yeah. Oh, what a sight! Stuart, bread, baby baguettes. <laughs> <laughs> and you're looking pretty Christmassy today, Natty. Thank you. Yes. Are you jingling? Yes. You are jingling. I'm jingling. Okay. <laughs> I thought that I was having like a. Let's have a look at the earrings. <laughs> Oh yeah. <laughs> Look at that beautiful bird. Now he's been hanging around near me quite a lot and I think I know why that is. For a start he's puffed up like a puffer fish and it's because this room is throwing off a massive amount of heat. So even more than usual the peacocks have been clustering around outside. Oh hang on, time to put another log on the fire. I think I can get couple in there. Let's go wild. Three it is. Catches so quickly. Oh, Ombeline. <laughs> so this is the winter produce coming yes, through. a part of it. Are you happy? Shia? I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Can I show you the cutest carrot you ever did see? That's not a carrot. It's a tomato masquerading as a carrot. <laughs> They're oh. all like that. Jerusalem oh, artichokes. I love them. They don't necessarily love me, but I do love oh. them. Peel them. They'll love you. Oh, really? Oh, it's a trick. Or you cook them in bicarbonate. Okay. And it's better for the belly. Great. Okay. Yeah, right. So, like, well, you boil it with bicarbonate. Yeah. And then, okay. And I peel them as well. Okay. So I'm sure. Oh, oh this is look at this beautiful thing. <laughs> Sorry, here we are looking over, you're holding everything. It's all the oh, well, the heavy one for you, I'm sorry. The Definitely salad. the salad tonight. Oh. And you can eat, I mean, beet leaves, yes. and you can eat. Yeah. Can you eat turnip leaves? You can eat it all. Okay. We can make some, some carrot top pesto. Oh, do we have small snips? Uh, yes, we do. Wonderful. Do you want them now? No, we can give them uh, to have lots for Christmas, maybe. Merci. Merci. Thank you. <laughs> You made her bunny hop. I'm happy about that. <laughs> and we're all celebrating Pavlina's birthday tonight. Yay! Birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Pavlina. Happy birthday to you. for the blue plates. Yes, it is. Because it's Pavlina's favorite color. And I could hear choose the glasses. I said, I have the for these, and she loved these. Oh, okay, fantastic. Mm -hmm. Oh, we've had to use the table, so Lalande is over there until the tree is up and we can set it up properly. And I've been dying to use the vintage Bernadotte ever since. I love it so much. And I had this color scheme in mind the entire time. So that one with the Eau du Bon and with these glasses. And I'm really happy that Pavlina approved. So we got that for her birthday. Welcome. Thank you so much. Thank you, yes, we've got some, um, let's see, what did I do to this? Uh, this is pumpkin soup with some pumpkin. Oh, there was a lot left Sorry. over. Yes, there were a lot left over. Were they from the garden? No, they okay. weren't, but they were from Halloween. And okay. there were so many. So this is pureed pumpkin soup with no stock. It is so perfectly rich and dense. Curry, turmeric, lots of black pepper. Mm -hmm. um, kefir lime leaves for a little bit of kick, coriander, and I believe that's it. Oh, and coconut milk. <laughs> so it's just going to be delicious. Kiss, hopefully, hopefully. <laughs> so here, I will actually, I'll practice. So this has a little bit of coconut cream yes. in it already, and we're just going to do a little bit more. Oh, gorgeous. Ooh, oh, you've done this. Look before. at that. And then I roasted some. Now, in the States, we call these pepitas, but these are pumpkin seeds. Yes. Roasted in some curry, lime, and olive oil. So that's it, just for a little bit of texture. There we go. Oh, fabulous. Yeah, qué linda. Yeah. Buen apetito. <laughs> Stuart is glorious. Very welcome here. <laughs> so here we have some Dijon. This is a very classic French traditional dish. So we've got chicken thighs that have been roasted, brown and then roasted. And then this is Dijon mustard, which is fortunately now back in stock. France had a little bit of this. <laughs> oh, yeah, it was terrible at moment. <laughs> it was terrible. But it's back in stock. So uh, French Dijon chicken. So this is white wine, rosemary, straight from the garden, shallots from the garden, and just reduced, reduced into the most amazing, brilliant 
sauce. It's going to be so good. You're making it's me hungrier and hungrier. Well, we're going to fix that in just a moment. Oh, and you've used lettuce from the garden oh as well. God, it I looks did. so mm. good. What is happening? <laughs> what? what? This is a hibiscus cake. Ooh. Actually, a vanilla hibiscus cake with some uh, hibiscus leaves that y'all brought, brought back from Egypt. Yes. I believe. So I soaked them in honey and lemon and water and added them to a beautiful classic vanilla cake batter. Um, and that's then somehow chemically turned the cake from hot pink to blue. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> it's Ukrainian magic. It's you. Yeah. You know what? I think I think it was meant to be. Incredible. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Happy birthday, my love. Entirely healthy. Maybe. There's not one bad thing in it. Oh. <laughs> oh. 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 It has Egyptian hibiscus flowers, therefore it is. It is helping. It's basically a salad. It's a salad. Yes. It's a hibiscus salad. Salad. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Love it. We do what we can here at Long. Good morning. Good morning, sweetheart. Let's get cooking some crumpets. Cooking. It's a very grand word. Hello, hello. Hello, neighbors. <laughs> Good neighbors, we have good friends. I think. I'm quite surprised you didn't come in that way, Michael. <laughs> it's a lot of furniture in the way. Oh, sure. I haven't seen you for I've never done some months. The rumor is true. What? You're not a legend. You're a real man. <laughs> oh, lovely. How was how was your apartment? It's nice. Nice. We decorated it in the dark, so you yeah. know there may have been some mistakes made. Yeah, but <laughs> it, it was great. It was so nice. It was nice and toasty when we came back. I had a terribly long drive. Got here, got here at uh, one in the morning. Oh, you poor thing. Um, lots of lots of delays around Paris. But you're here. You're here for Christmas, and there's crumpets. <laughs> I love it when everyone gets here. Right, as you can see, they are highly appreciated. One or two. Does Michael want to come back? He does, definitely. This is Christmas, isn't it? Michael and Percy are talking about King Arthur, which Percy's reading, and Mummy and I are in the kitchen making delicious crumpets. <laughs> I'm happy. Now we're using the dibs, date and passion fruit. I've been longing to try this one. It's lovely. <laughs> As you can see, it's already been quite This is going going down quite quickly, <laughs> isn't it? Look at it. Well, that went pretty quickly. Mm. Mm. Oh, that's a extra... <laughs> <laughs> Are you serious? You're cleaning my plate with it too. Oh, yeah. It has to be said, it's a mixture of the salted butter mm. and the sweet dates. Mm. What is all about? Oh, oh. I've just had a shower. I'm going to try and curl my hair because we are going to a party tonight. It is our first Christmas party of the season. It's at Andrew and Ricardo's house. So they're going to be showing us how they've transformed a house in the local area. And it is bake potato night. Whilst I was in the shower, very exciting things have been happening in the kitchen and outside. Reason has prevailed. Amri did not want to use our diggers. He said that it would make too much of a mess, but after just trying so hard and making himself sick with it, he realized that he could ask Nick the tree surgeon, who happens to be here, who's obviously here this week, if he could use his tiny, tiny digger, which is much more delicate and has that very little attachment. So we'll go out and see him, but on the way, I want to show you Stuart cleaning in the kitchen. That may not sound like the most exciting thing in the world, but it really is. And it's not just Stuart, it's Dave as well. What a transformation. On the oven. On the, on oven. the oven. And you have been at the oven with a toothbrush. Mm -hmm. More than one toothbrush. Three hours, yeah. We've got two toothbrushes and another squidgy brush. And Dave was so sweet and brought me gloves. Um, yeah, look at this. It's so fantastic. It is fantastic. Just, oh, you think of all the wonderful meals people have cooked. Yes. On this. Like, I'm glad you're thinking of wonderful things whilst you're doing oh, this. Oh, yes. No, this is, all, this is all fun. This is just the trajectory of life in a kitchen. <laughs> How are you doing up there, Dave? Yeah, I'm good. I'm enjoying it. I'm in my natural habitat. 
Yeah. It's looking great. Ah, yeah. <laughs> oh, lovely day for it. In one afternoon, they've got further than Amory had managed to get digging by hand in several days. Hello, Cuz. You look much happier. Yeah. It's pretty incredible. Thank goodness Nick loves to use this tiny little machine. Yeah. It's I so really, good. Really, really good. <laughs> you literally made yourself sick with it. Yeah, no. It's just, yeah, just had to crack on. But no, Nick. Nick was uh, coming by and he just said, listen, do you want to use a little digger? And I explained to him, well, yeah, I explained to him the situation with R2 that we've got. He said, yeah, yeah. I totally understand that. Well, but mine can do that. Mine won't destroy the courtyard yes. and blah, blah, blah. So I said, if you don't mind. So oh, yeah, no, did. what an angel, because this tiny little head, that's what we needed. By day's end, we would have done what's taken me maybe four or five days. I know, it's, it's insane. Yeah what you did but, but wow you really stuck at it and I'm glad he saved you because I think you'd have been sick broke, for Christmas it would have broken, <laughs> would have broken, broken you, you. <laughs> yeah. but, I mean I'm guessing you look like Arnold Schwarzenegger now underneath that puffer jacket <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, Amazing. It's, going really, it's going really well it's motoring on it's and just... then we can relax over some baked potatoes tonight yeah, yeah. yeah. and a bit of champagne or oh, beer beer, beer. I think Natty and I will have to do papers as a stone to see who's uh, driving. <laughs> I think that's a really fair way to work out between a couple who drives. Yeah, who drives <laughs> as good as any other. Yeah. Yeah. I'm all ready for Andrew's party and about to leave, but I thought I would open a gift that I received from Ardmore, and they sent it a while ago. I was keeping it for Christmas, but I've cracked. I'm going to open it today because Andrew and Ricardo are going to be giving me a tour of the house and they've told me that they finally finished their bar area and they've got an Ardmore wallpaper. So I know that this is a scarf and I definitely want to be wearing it in that bar. Oh my goodness. Philip, come and have a look. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh, nice box. Feels like Christmas already. Okay, I'm gonna do it in front of the Christmas tree. Actually, I've just remembered. Philip, we bought a new bauble for the tree. Okay, we have to put that on before leaving as well. Have to, definitely. Have to. And I found a couple of others when I was making Michael's tree, which were for this tree. So we'll put those on as well. I love it. Love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Oh, the colours. That's actually really nice for Christmas. The uh, the red and the, the orange. It. But at the same time, it makes me feel warm. This colour combination is especially beautiful. Faye and Megan, thank you so much for sending this. I love it. Isn't it gorgeous? Yes. I just want to wear it as a parry over a swimming <laughs> costume now. I don't, want, I don't want to be in the cold. It's massive. I know. It's because you can actually wear it in summer as an actual dress. Oh. You see? Oh, yes. it's made for that. Yes. It's totally. so cool. Or I can wear it in winter. I need to fold it over like that. And then today, especially as I'm wearing just a very plain grey dress, I'm wearing it like this. And I will feel very glamorous at Andrew and Ricardo's for the Christmas party. That's lovely. It's funny because I really thought of it as a summer scarf, but now the colour it gives in winter is quite festive colours. It's beautiful. And also what I like is that it's so big. Yes, I can use it for millions mm -hmm. of things. I found these two that were sent last year. Whilst I was doing my tree, they're stunning. So I'm going to add them immediately to our tree. Yeah, the one there. I just love it. And then I've been dying to show everyone. When we were in Paris, we went into Le Bon Marché, which is the oldest department store in the world. And we saw a lovely woman who was painting little portraits onto plates, onto paper, and also onto baubles. So we had one made of Philip and me. It's our couple's bauble. And I'd shared that footage with my patrons in this week's video. Look, isn't it cute? She made it pink for our Toile de Jouy tree. You're in green, darling. I'm in red, we're in very festive colours. <laughs> so I think we need to go right in the middle. I think possibly here instead of this one. All right. There we go. We can nestle in our tree together, darling. I love it so much. She's called Wilhelmine Bardewill. And this is in no way a sponsorship. I just absolutely wanted to show it to all of you. And she's half Dutch, so she's yeah. called Wilhelmine. Yes. And there's her art. I love her art. I love that one. Look at that one. I know. It's adorable. It was really cute. And the cheerfulness and the colours remind me, of course, of my father's art. So, no, I, I love them. And I'm really happy we're on the tree. 
Right, I'm rushing off. I'm going to go to Andrew's before the others because I'm going to go and film the house for all of you. I'm in the car with my aunt and uncle. We've come via the supermarket to get champagne. And the minute I got out of the car, it was raining. All the cars are gone. Why do I bother? I love, I love the way you added toilet rolls. So this is this is our shop with toilet rolls. Stylish, Tom Tom Stephen, really stylish. Thank you very much. Well, I'm the Boy Scout. You always come prepared. <laughs> Tomorrow morning for the background. You're staying the night with oh, Andrew Ricardo, aren't you? Day. Yes, we have. So no more camel breaths. Did you think they would be prepared? <laughs> <laughs> I go for the more glamorous <laughs> Oh yes, well you are so much more glamorous. These light up. I'm quite excited about this. Hello. How does it light up? Here we are. Time to bust out that toilet roll, Tonton Stephen. <laughs> Always come prepared. <laughs> oh, we're happy now. <laughs> <laughs> elements. I feel like I'm an architectural digest or something. I know. Or grand designs in England. So you in are. England, they look dishevelled for most of their life and then we they put this back with a sandwich on in the last day and go, ta da! Uh, oh, this is my home! Oh, we have arrived completely dishevelled. The curls have gone, but I'm happy to be here. Oh, thank you. I have light. I have a spotlight following me around at all times now. The Chateau Diaries is doing really well. I've been able to employ Ricardo. Not that far. I'm good to go now. We're going to have a drink. But if you want to see the party and Andrew and Ricardo's extremely beautiful home and hear about their renovation, then watch tonight's Christmas Diaries, which will all be the tour of the house and the baked potato and champagne party. Oh.